on Tink Smooth. My man Tink Smooth is in here. Tink, I want to be on Tink Smooth shit tomorrow. Meek Mandela. He's put out a album cover. Apparently, this is his album cover. Like, so his album cover is this or something like that. And, um, you know, I I'll give him credit for trying to be artistic. Um, I hope that reflects in the music. Meek Mill's music is, is usually a bunch of surface shit. He's usually still rapping as a rich, successful millionaire, claiming that he could embody the struggle. And a rich let, let me let me really put this down for y'all. A rich, successful millionaire who hang who hangs out with billionaires, chases them from coast to coast, helicopter rides after helicopter rides, parties with them in the Hamptons all the fucking time. Who's also thirty three or thirty four, claiming they he he's still given the perspective of the streets to the new 16 year old who's wondering what he should probably do in his life. I think, it, I think that's just, just not feasible, but what do I know? Whatever. Cool. Anyway, that's what his music usually um, consists of. To me, it's a bunch of surface level shit, street shit, street shit. I got my rolly on. I'm flexing for motivation. I'm rich. I fuck bad bitches. I spin your block. I got money, put it on your head. Young Bulls, Young Bulls, John, John. Like, that's really his music, right? Um, all of a sudden, he drops this fucking drawn, like hand drawn painting. That's an album cover. Uh, I think people are trying to do what Drake did with his album cover. And by the way, I don't even think Drake really all the way knocked it out the park. I'm going to be honest with you. I really think that even with Drake's attempt, Hotline Bling is the epitome of Drake doing some shit and it going super, super viral. And obviously, he definitely won a beef versus Meek with that shit. But like, not saying his album cover didn't go super viral in terms of people using that, that format or that template to do shit. But number one, it didn't still didn't make sense didn't help the album, right? And also, I just don't feel like it lived beyond when the music dropped. Like, the music dropped and we stopped talking about the album cover. So I look at this with with Meek Mill and I'm like, okay, what this would tell me is that Meek Mill might be trying to get a little bit more artistic. Maybe we'll have an album where he's not rapping about the the Richard Milley on his wrist, the 80,000 in his ball main jeans, the new car he just, he, he just copped, the, the the Instagram model that's on his wish list, like may, maybe we have a little bit more substance, maybe maybe a little bit a couple more lies, like you know telling the kids, hey, be str I don't know what the fuck this seems like some artistic shit. I would expect this from Kanye, you feel me? So I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt that maybe he's coming some artistic shit. Who knows, right? Um. So again, I'm, I'm gonna listen, but. Not promoting nothing, but anyway, uh, I I will listen. It looks like it's gonna be some artistic shit. I'm hoping, just like I hoped with Drake, there would be a theme that wraps all this random shit around. But it might not be. It might just be a cover to go viral, which I think a lot of people do it. I think Kanye's cover of nothing is to go viral. I think Drake's cover of twelve pregnant ladies is to go viral. I don't think it's nothing beyond that. I think this is to go viral. Except, like, you're Meek Mill. You're not Drake and Kanye. Like, this ain't finna go viral. If anything, it's gonna go viral in the opposite way of them laughing at you. So, uh, I wanna hear the album. Apparently, it's coming out on uh, October 1st. And we will see how that ends up turn turning out, if you ask me. So, I don't know. I really don't know what to expect. Might be good. But just off the album cover, I'm thinking a little bit more than braggadocious rap. Actually, why am I even thinking that? Let's look at the album cover. Real talk. 
There's a bike right here. Look like a nigga about to do a wheelie. A chick bent over right here. Another chick right here. Dice right here. Look like a little life, like a life uh, donut thing. Look like this is like a checkers thingy. Maybe a palm tree right here. A cop car on fire. A yacht right. Oh, never mind. This is this makes my life. This ain't no fucking. This, I'm over here thinking this is some deeper shit. Yo, you remember my beautiful dark twisted fantasy? Like that album cover. Like you trying to figure out what it is, and even like, uh, was it a life of Pablo too? You're trying to figure out what it is. This is Meek's life. Wheelie. The only thing we ain't say on this shit is a watch. Wheelie, yacht, bitches, strippers, fuck the cops, the car, the cop cars on fire, rolling dice on the corner because you got to be street. Uh, um, uh, we in the pool or we in the, we in the ocean, so you got this right here. I don't know what this is. And we don't play chess, we play checkers. Yeah, sound about right to me. Okay. All right, we'll hear it, we'll hear it.